They successfully took it down, and I want to compliment our aviators who did it. That was President Joe Biden shortly after a Chinese balloon believed to be spying on the U.S. was ordered to be shot down off the South Carolina coast. It's where we begin your news at 11. This is video of the balloon as it was targeted this afternoon. You can see it floating in the air about 60,000 feet up, then bursting and falling toward the ocean about six miles off of our coast. Now it first entered the U.S. in Alaska, then it went into Canada before re-entering our country over over Idaho. I want you to take a look at this. It was spotted over Montana, home to sensitive military skies, then Missouri, and continued heading east to the Carolinas. That's when Governor Henry McMaster says he was briefed of the Pentagon's plans to shoot it down once it was off the coast. Well, President Biden says he wanted to order the balloon down earlier this week, but it was advised to do so over the water to protect civilians. Now, China says the flyover was an accident involving a civilian aircraft that entered the U.S. by mistake. They're calling the shoot down an overreaction and a violation of international practice. But the U.S. says otherwise, with Secretary of State Antony Blinken postponing his planned trip to Beijing this weekend. It's a violation of our sovereignty. It's a violation of international law. Now, before it was shot down, the balloon was seen by many across our state. Chances are you may have seen it floating in the skies today. Our Nate Stanley has more on the impact here at home. I thought it was pretty cool to start with, but then you get to thinking, like, why is it there? An odd morning for Ricky Kynard in Newberry County Saturday as he witnessed the Chinese balloon, which the U.S. military says was a spy balloon, move across the sky. He was out collecting firewood when he and his wife captured these images of the white sphere. I've seen it, and, and I called my wife, and we looked at it, and we took a pictures, and we sent it to y'all, and uh, sent it to some friends, and I said, well, you know, we should have waited, because the wind's blowing like it is, and it's blowing this way. So if it was a weather balloon, the tracking should have brought it closer to us. I was calling my neighbors because, you know, if we could see it, I want them to see it because it was just, it's interesting. You don't see that every day. Mm -hmm. I called my daughter, woke her up, I believe. My neighbors called them over there. They saw it. They weren't alone. Many in the Midlands had their eyes in the sky and caught the balloon in various pictures and videos posted on social media. In the early afternoon, the president and the U.S. military made the decision to shoot it down. To prepare for the strike, all planes were grounded from Charleston to Myrtle Beach up to Wilmington, North Carolina. You can see this screenshot from FlightAware around 2 p.m., empty airspace above the coast. Videos also captured when an F-22 from Langley Air Force Base in Virginia fired on the balloon. It could be seen falling toward the ocean, authorities in Myrtle Beach warning late in the day for people not to pick up any debris that could have fallen. Back in the Midlands, Kynard says they were paying attention during the week as the balloon made its way from the Midwest and followed updates as it was shot down off the coast. We followed it on Facebook. We, some Columbia friends of ours seen in Columbia and it once it got past the nuclear plant, it picked up steam. The Kynards are glad they got to witness a piece of national history, but aren't eager to do it again soon. I hope we never see it again, but we live in a weird time. In Columbia, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX. Well, the Department of Defense says the Navy will be responsible for collecting the remnants of the balloon off our coast. Those remnants did create a seven-mile debris field in the Atlantic Ocean.